today uh, in this whole Corona era. I can go to Beard since he saw me last. So we're in the operating room and uh, we're here in Beverly Hills and we have a patient today who's in um, middle age, sort of in the mid uh, 40s. And previously she had silicone injected, unfortunately, into her buttocks and it's migrated throughout her buttocks. It's migrated into the groin region and into her thighs too. So what we're going to be doing today is cutting it out, excising it, through an incision done in the top portion of her butt. All right. Previously, another surgeon had uh, tried to get it out through a midline incision through the butt crack. Wasn't that successful? To so today, we're definitely going to get it out through an incision on the top of the body, as well as an incision on the bottom of the body, and excise that silicone scar tissue and associated, you know, inflammatory response. So we're going to flip her over, take out more silicone that's migrated into the pubic region, as well as the labia, as well as the inside eyes, and then I'm also going to sculpt out a six pack for her. Do some liposuction on the uh, front part of the chest. Do some lipo on the neck. We're a nice six pack to go, and uh, that'll be the end of our surgery. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So what we're going to be doing here today is making an incision on the top portion of the buttock here, right in here, on this side. I'm also going to make it on the other side, and we're going to go ahead and go and remove the silicone. Now she's got silicone all throughout the buttock here on both sides. Previously, another surgeon had made an incision here inside the vertical gluteal cleft right in there and taken out a little bit of the silicone in there. But there's still a lot of silicone left out here in the lateral portion of the buttocks. From this incision in the superior layer crest top of the buttock, I'm gonna dissect down. I'm gonna dissect down pretty far to this infragluteal fold right in here on both sides. You can see how crooked the both sides are. This side is much bigger and hangs lower because of the silicone. So with that dissection, I'm gonna go pretty low and then I'm gonna remove all the skin and fat in that red shaded area. I'm gonna remove all the skin and fat and silicone and scar tissue and our eventual scar line will be up here where this dotted green line is and we're gonna remove all that red. Also, she has some silicone that's migrated into her lower back here, right in there. So instead of making an incision across the back there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this ultrasound guided, ultrasound guided, vaser assisted, silicone suction, okay? And we're gonna suck out the silicone that's in there. Yes, by the way, cosmetically, she wants to have some liposuction done here to get rid of some excess fat on the upper back. We're gonna do that here for her. Then I'm gonna flip her over on the front side. And then on the front side, what I'm gonna do is she has silicone that is in the inner thigh, right in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a combination of silicone suction, okay, with a special cannula that I have, suck out the silicone, as well as get rid of some of the lipodystrophy, the excess fat on the inner thigh, and really slim down the inner thigh. She also has migration of silicone into the pubic region right in here, okay? So to get to that area, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mid make a midline vertical incision right here and go in and get these very large areas of silicone right in there. Two very large areas about the size of maybe small lemons in there of silicone that's migrated, moved around from the buttocks, and I've seen that before. Also, yeah, here, we're gonna make her a nice six pack. We're gonna come in here and vertically, giving her linear alvea, semi-lunaris lines here on the side, and then come across and give her horizontal transverse inscriptions of her six pack. So she'll get one, two, three, four, five, six pack. And we're gonna do some liposuction in the upper portion of the breast in here, and then we're also gonna do some neck lipo. So let's go to the operating room and I'll show you how we do it here in Beverly Hills. So let's go to the operating room and I'll show you how we do it here in Beverly Hills. We're doing silicone from the body, as well as the groin, as well as the pubic region, as well as the inner thigh. Silicone that's been injected and moved around. Let's do this type of a six-pack, getting six pack, then you're going to a six-pack, then you're going to your thighs, fat off the back too, and a little bit of fat off the neck. So let's go to the operating room. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to inject two nesting solution. So nesting solution is going to numb up the area, minimize the bleeding. And the first area I'm going to do is I'm going to lower back. What's happened unfortunately is the silicone that was injected here illegally has migrated up to the lower back. It's getting a lot of localized pain here, a lot of uh, scar tissue, a lot of uh, low back pain. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inject my two nesting solution. Get this area nice and numb. So the second step I'm going to use is called this vaser. Okay, that's this machine here. And the vaser is really cool because it emits ultrasonic energy here and it's going to help to break up the scar tissue in here. So I'm going to use a nice wet towel here and go in 
and bagel. And the third and final step is going to be silicone suction. It's not liposuction, but it's a special camera that we have made uh, just for me, where we can suck out the silicone and the suction. So she has previously had silicone injected throughout the body. It's in the mostly, it's in the upper third of her body. And previously she had had a surgeon make an incision that goes from here down into the body. And they took out a portion of here. Not too much, but the problem is up here and that's where most of the injection is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an incision across the top of the body here, dissect down and remove all this uh, contaminated silicone with the associated scar tissue and she also had some silicone that migrated in the bottom of her bottom, okay, underneath the uh, hold where the buttock meets the posterior thigh. So after we uh, elevate this, we're gonna have to remove some of the skin in the top down here on the bottom. So let's do the first, the upper portion, and we're gonna do that with this uh, incision in the top portion of the buttock here. I've injected some local here. She's under general anesthesia, she's face down, so she doesn't feel any of this. She's on a nice trip to Bora Bora. Hmm. And uh, we're going to get this silicone mistake that was injected years ago. And uh, it's a big problem. A lot of my practice has to do with removing the silicone. Um, and we've seen it all over the body the buttocks, the, uh, the thighs, the uh, pubic region the ankles, the abdomen, the breast, the biceps, the triceps, and even the face. So, you've seen it all over the place. So if you're thinking about silicone injections, don't do it. Okay? So even right away as we get into this, you can see I call them the bovas, these little clear balls of silicone. And uh, we're gonna see a lot more as our journey continues down the buttock and um, we're going to get rid of as many as we can within our field too. So uh, she's got silicone injected here and all this silicone and all this scar tissue. So I made in the incision on the top portion of her buttock. I've dissected down. And now you can see my fingers way down here. This is where I've dissected down on both sides. This loosens up the tissue and will allow me to lift the buttock up and remove all that contaminated silicone and scar tissue in the top third, top half of her buttock and will allow me to get rid of the, this large uh, area of contaminated skin. So I'm just doing my dissection here, just finishing it up. I'm making sure both sides are equal. So basically I feel with my left hand, I feel with my right hand, and I make sure the pocket is perfectly symmetrical. So, you know, a couple little inches here on the right, to even it up with the left. And I go down here at about six o'clock, making sure that's even, making sure out here, the lateral portion of the buttock, everything's equal. So my dissection pocket now feels perfectly equal with both hands. So I've dissected all that up, and now I'm going to use my towel clamps 
to measure what I can safely remove. So basically during my dissection, I went all the way down here and freed the, all this up so we can get rid of all this nasty silicone for her. I'm gonna use these penetrating towel clamps. These are sort of pinchers like this. Again, she's under anesthesia. She doesn't feel any of this. So we can do things like this without any pain to the patient. Um, and I use these towel clamps for a couple of reasons. One, they don't fall off. Number two, I can measure the tension in the flap. And the tension measurement allows me to determine safely what I can remove. So this is what I'm thinking. We're moving everything from this to there. And I'm gonna use the towel clamps as a tensometer. That's a machine that measures the tension. And here, as I connect the two towel clamps, look, there's a lot of laxity, looseness. So that means I can get out more if I want to. And I think I will to get rid of more excess silicone for her. And we can slide down there. Well, that extra couple of centimeters is achieved by bringing the towel clamp lower. We can in fact get a little bit more. Um, here's her previous scar from her previous surgeon and their attempt to remove silicone also. So there are a couple of different procedures we do for silicone removal. A lot of the time we're making a decision on the top portion of the buttock, sometimes we'll make it under, as we're gonna do here today. And sometimes we make a big uh, letter C almost. We start from underneath the buttock, come up the buttock crack, and then join to the top of the buttock here, like a big flap, we open it up, take everything out, close it up again. So this has already been done for us, so we need to complete it by just going there and there. So I'm just using these top clamps again, measuring it up. I measure things a whole bunch of times before we remove it, just to be absolutely sure I can get it all back together. Because that's no fun if you can't get it back together. You see these little gray dots? These are silicone balls. See that little guy right there? That's a silicone ball. So I'm gonna peel off this layer of fascia to get rid of that layer of silicone that's trying to get in. So you can leave it, but I don't think that's a good idea. So now we're gonna get rid of this fascia and uh, we'll have the gluteus maximus muscle right underneath us, but it gets another um, centimeter of this nasty silicone stuff out of the space. And again, we're done the top of the butt, but she still has silicone down here, as well as scar tissue, as well as sag. So back here, this really bothers her because when she's standing up in the front, you can actually see this hanging down from the back side. So it's uneven, she has silicone in there and scar tissue. So I'm gonna make an incision underneath the buttock here where the back of the thigh joins the buttock. I'm gonna make an incision in this crease, come up and eliminate a lot of the silicone and scar tissue and get her a more even butt. So again, she had the incision vertically here. She had had it uh, the superior portion, and now we're doing it the inferior portion of the body for the silicone removal. And we go ahead and uh, do that for this video. So I'm doing ultrasound here, and you can see all of these little black echoic regions. That's all injected silicone, all throughout there. And this is in the pubic region, and we're gonna go ahead and isolate both sides, and we're gonna go ahead and take uh, these silicone injections out. You can sort of see on this other side, in the radio region, uh, these dark silicone balls. These are uh, areas of silicone that are deep underneath uh, right against the fascia. So she's got two firm masses right here and right here. The variety of ways to take this out, but I think the best is going to be an insertion in the midline here. And I'm going to come down on these firm masses and take these out. They're quite large. You'll see those in a minute here. They're about from there to there on each side. These are silicone injections. So if you can't silicone injections, don't. Just don't do it. Right. Okay. So I made my uh, midline incision here, and I dissected down, and I found all this silicone that was injected. 
in the Mons region. All this is silicone and associated scar tissue. And if that wasn't enough, on that side, there's all this on the other side, silicone injection. So if you're thinking of silicone injection to the uh, pubic region, or in fact, for that matter, anywhere, don't do it. So this is all the foreign tissue reaction. It's all that silicone. It's hard as a rock here, and it's all infiltrated with silicone as well as scar tissue. So that's removed. And now we're gonna do a cosmetic closure and get this uh, all back together and nice and tight and should get a very uh, good result. But the most important thing is all that hard silicone that was causing a pain, discomfort in that area, now is all gone. And a risk of cancer is uh, much less reduced with this silicone. So this patient appears to have a tummy tuck, which has a nice flat tummy, but she wants more muscle definition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do vaser high depth on top of her tummy tuck. So we should be able to get a nice muscle definition in here, but you've got to do those three steps. Tumescent, phaser, and then liposuction. So we're going to do that first. Tumescent, phaser, and then liposuction. We just finished, we just finished up the uh, phaser six-pack lipo here on the female. She previously had a tummy tuck, but now she has uh, musculature on top. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six-pack on top. Nice linear alga in the middle. Sending the linear lines on the side. That's all of the all transferred inscriptions there. So I think she's had a very excellent result. Uh, I don't think it's too overdone. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next stage. Right section with the thighs, a little bit on the breast and the neck, and then we'll be done. So this is all the uh, silicone balls that were injected. And you'll see them as we come along. See these cavities? It looks like Swiss cheese. So all that is the uh, silicone that had previously been injected. See all these little bovas in here? Everywhere, thousands of them, everywhere. Just strewn all across. Deep, superficial, all these little thousands and thousands of little bovas of silicone. All right, so that's silicone removal. And uh, she, you know, all this, look at all that. All that raw silicone. And she had it so bad that we had to, um, actually take it out of the fascia, which is that layer on top of the muscle. So all these little brown spots you see here, gray spots, that's silicone that had previously been burned. Uh, so she had a lot of silicone in here.